on other issues, I think on MH370, I think they are uh, concerned from some uh, press that they couldn't locate uh, uh, the sheep, uh, uh, the seabed constructors from Ocean Infinity. Uh, it's not true. It is just switch off actually the signaling because uh, uh, why uh, Ocean Infinity is on the way back to the ports for refurnish and replant replenishing work. So uh, after that, they will be going back to the search areas. So uh, Ministry of uh, Transport uh, through DCA, uh, the response team will provide you all the details uh, later. I've instructed uh, Director General uh, DCA. Uh, to brief the press from time to time. Uh, we would like to invite you all to the operational operation center uh, so that you can watch uh, all the details including the, the uh, photos taken on the seabed, you know, what are those uh, items that they pick up uh, over the past uh, one or two weeks. Uh, it is very encouraging to see that uh, the whole search mission going on very smoothly uh, they are using eight AUV, uh, uh, their autonomous vehicle on the ground, uh, and uh, it, it very fast. One day they can search more than 1,000 square kilometer areas. And this is, uh, uh, I would say that uh, we'll continue to keep the public uh, informed. Uh, there's a lot of curiosity from the public. Some public just uh, trace and follow the, the ships, you know. So when, when they, are, they are back, they are on the way back to the, they will switch off the signal. This is a normal, uh, so that the, the public would not, should not be alert uh, over the loss of signal uh, searching for the uh, mission uh, MH370. So these are some of the questions I was uh, received earlier. So I just give some clarification. Are there, are there two Malaysian naval officers on the ship? Yes, yeah, there are two, two uh, naval officers two Malaysian naval officers on the ship at all times. Mm -hmm. and we got the feedback uh, all the time to our response team center.